15 Days Novena for Victory Daily Prayers Prayer 1 Father God, I come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, praising you with all my heart, mind, and strength for the victory you have given me through Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, sickness, disease, Pain, suffering, poverty, and death has no power over me. I am now free from the law of sin and death. The Spirit of Christ Jesus dwells in me. My body is a temple for the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am a child of the living God. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus over all the works of the devil. Satan, you are a defeated foe. I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ. I overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I am anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit to serve my King and Master, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory, honor, praise, and worship. The Bible says you are Jehovah Nissi, which means the Lord is my victorious banner. I thank you, Father, for the victory I have in the wonderful name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer 2 Father, we thank you for making us see a new year. There were many that desired to see this new year, but they were unable to. It is not that we are better than them, or that we are more righteous than them, it's just because of your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your many mercies, because they encompass us like a shield and protect us from the fiery darts of the wicked. We thank you for the many battles, seen and unseen, that you fought on our behalf last year. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to have the last laugh over our lives and that of our loved ones. We bless you because you are holy and righteous and faithful and your eyes are ever upon us. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Prayer 3 Dear Lord, I pray that in this new year you will cause me to be in the center of your will for my life. Please do not let me stray from your presence, but rather help me to keep my eyes focused on you. Let every step I take and every decision I make be in line with your will for my life. I pray I will be in the center of your will maritally, spiritually, in my career or business, and in everything I lay my hands on. Prayer 4 I pray for spiritual growth in this new year, that my spiritual life will not be stagnant, and that I will be a good ambassador of Christ. Lord, please show me the steps I need to take to grow spiritually. Open my eyes to see those things that I need to let go. And give me the grace to embrace what must be done for me to grow up unto you in all things. As I take steps to pursue faith and holiness with a good conscience, O oh Lord, Please back me up in Jesus' name. Amen. Day 15 Above all, destroy every evil spirit or gathering against my progress and breakthrough. Destroy every evil spirit gathered to destroy me, my spouse, my marriage, and breakthrough in my life. Scripture reference 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 But the Lord is faithful. And he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Scripture reference 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 to 5. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Scripture reference, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 to 9. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, 
standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. Scripture reference James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Scripture reference Romans chapter 8 verse 37 to 39. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heights nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Prayer for protection from selfies. Sovereign Lord, I love you so much. Help me to get over myself. Stop me from focusing on my issues, my feelings, and what I want. Turn my attention from selfies and the urge to tell everyone who I am and what I am doing. Purge the spirit of pride from me. Destroy my sense of self. I want to be dead as I currently know myself so that you can rebuild me in your image. Fix my eyes on others. Focus my mind on ways to be a blessing to the people around me. Help me to see all your sons and daughters as equals at the cross of Calvary. In the powerful name of Jesus, Amen. Prayer for protection from the spirit of witchcraft. Lord God of heaven and earth, I get on my knees before you to ask for protection from any spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, fortune telling or black magic. You say that the fate of the people who practice these things is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. Lord, I pray that every door I have opened that has allowed witchcraft to come into my life is closed. Protect me from this evil and through your resurrected son, drive out all spirits of witchcraft from my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray for protection from the spirit of addiction. O Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the world, heal me from my distress. You say you will not let me be tempted beyond what I can bear. I am having so much trouble resisting my urges. I need your divine intervention to cast the spirit of addiction down to the lowest part of hell. I am suffering and I'm weak. Make my flesh and mind strong so that I can overcome my desire to use drugs, alcohol, and stay sober. I cannot do this on my own. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pray for protection from the spirit of abandon or distraction. Lord God, my shield, you are the one who cast out the angels who disobeyed you from heaven. Banish every spirit who follows abandon, a destroying demon, from my life. Help me become closer to you. Be disciplined in reading your word and walk this earth by faith and in your image. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and mold me as you desire. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Mm -hmm.